So all of that, how 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 did your your family react to that? Because you're ambitious, yeah, and all of that, and now here you are. I got pregnant. Wana. Yes. How how did you? Uh, I, I, mm. Let's start off there. Being pregnant mm. and having to tell your family mm. and tell even Bonobo Mpo. Mm. How did everyone take it? Because you know the behind the scenes, and you're really pushing for the story. No, I want the story because you like, are really pushing for it. Okay, say this because <laughs> sometimes you know. When I call V and he pretends to be busy, I want him to, you know, to really hear this podcast because this is the guy who made me quit my job. Yeah. He came to me and said, you know what? I'm the biggest thing in the BWE music industry. Leave your job. Let's go. And always, mm. I'm going to take care of different identities Yo, 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 what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to it, man, the booty cast right here from Staywell Hotels in Mohoditani. My name is SCAR, your host uh, with the most one, episode five right now. We're very, very excited. Thank you to everybody for all the support. And uh, yeah, we got the messages, okay? We were going to bring a lady to the show <laughs> regardless. So I want to go, but like, yes, you were right. We, we had to make sure uh, we pay homage to every single person who's made uh, BW music and urban youth culture, something that we are all proud of at the moment. And in the house, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, this is my sister, man. You know, she's a mother at the same time. Uh, she's a music promoter, event and artist manager, humanitarian, a philanthropist, I don't know. She's still getting, you know, more and more underneath her title. Her name is Zenzele Hesfeld, and she's our guest. Hello, Mama. Hi, Lebadi, my Hotel son. Like What's up? Ah, no, Am I allowed to call you Lebadi, my yes, son? Yes, you're allowed to call me I... Lebadi, my son. We should, that's how someone, I'm comfortable with calling you. If, someone, if someone was to call me on the telephone, and yeah. then I asked them, Hori, you know, if they don't say that, I'll know it's not you. Yeah. If someone ever called me with your phone, I'll know because that's the first thing that Zenzeli says when she call, answers the phone every time I call her up. And I'm so happy you're here, Mama. I'm very glad about it. Mm, so, so, face beat. <laughs> So this Wait, is where we are these days. I've got to look the part. I mean, you know, it oh, comes oh, up with... That's why back then I used to tell you guys, oh, you know what, image is everything to the brand. But like, no, no, so no, no, no. Brand, Before we got you know? to the, the image part, <laughs> like you were there wearing Magwamara mm -hmm. Um, you were, you were out here. Yeah. Is this where the game is now? Like, you got to look the part these days. Because I, like, like I'm saying, when you were out there in the trenches... Is this what's going on these days? This is what's going on. You've mm. got to keep it real. You've got to be yourself. You've got to, you know, no represent, doubt, especially local. You yeah. know? Yes. Shout out to Kiaro mm. Marantau. Yeah, that's my girl right there. No yeah. doubt, I mean, you look absolutely beautiful. And um, where were you coming from? Okay. Because I know you're busy, busy, busy. Oh, uh, okay. I haven't been well, you know, Yeah. Uh, this week, uh, but today is Topps' birthday. It's my man's oh. birthday. So I started the day, you know, on a very low mode. You know how, mm. you know, and uh, I took it easy, said a little prayer and, you know, um. but I'm here. I've got to do this. Uh, you know, we've started yeah. the culture and the game must just go on and gone and, um. and on and on and on, you know. Uh, so, it's his so birthday, um. you know, somebody that has been very influential Definitely. into igniting the Zen in me. And we're gonna get to that because um, Lene he does play a major major part in Very the sense that we see today. But like about the color, when thing thing, in the or, beginning, yeah, in the beginning, in the um, beginning there was in, the word. In, 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 in like a lot of these articles <laughs> that I read up on you, yeah. And shout out to our producer May Mili Bileme, yeah. Um, you know she was so excited because we have a lady on the show as well because she also wants to understand something or. Mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? Because mm -hmm. a lot of these young women, mm -hmm. you know, look up to you in that regard. So I want you to start from right there. Or okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Broadest. Eh? Broadest mm -hmm. made me self-made in Broadest. Um, mm -hmm. I grew up in a neighborhood called Solofelo. Mm -hmm. In Solofelo, there was a you know a street that we call Mokepa Street. Okay. Mokepa Street was the the then street back in those days. You're not Joe Morris, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's before. <laughs> hey. That's before. Okay. Yeah, but now Konoli, Tangawa. Okay. You know where the it's a pleasure. You know, you remember, um, you know, the um, PJ said it's a pleasure. Um, we were the first to experience that. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the late Shona Ferguson. We um, grew up in the same neighborhood in Solofelo. And, uh, you know, um, 
we were really influenced by the you know the neighborhoods itself because yeah. it was so much of very influential figures that mm. we now find and in different high profile positions and is it the one with the 7-eleven it was the one with Kalabash. Chili Sita Borosokoma, STS Promotions, was my neighbor. He was living in the neighborhood back then. And we have. Togetherness Festival. Yes, Togetherness Festival. So you see, this influence started from, yeah, it was. It started like at a very infancy age. For those who don't know, Brachili Sika and organized this event called Togetherness. It was always at the National Stadium. And during those times, I mean, mm. that was the biggest show. He we brought Shaba I, sh- I, I, the first time I saw Lucky Dube eh. in person was eh. in my neighborhood. And like everything I learned just next time. I don't know this part about you, Zen. Yeah. So I, I want to know more about that. So how old were you when you started seeing people by law? A lot of us, I guess, were seeing on TV, um, the, your Shaba Ranks, your Lucky Dubias, and here's your neighbor who's in the business that you are in now. Yeah. When you look back at that, Hori, okay, that's Zen and how mm. old she was. What do you think that Zen picked up? I think that was like, because the the song Me Dodo was just getting famous. Me dola, and do do. I remember, do 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 do. you know, but I kept and I'm a cap. I would make us dance the song. You just hey. say, guys, and you know, Mutusi Lesole, who's my best friend, Isaura. stayed in the same hood. Yeah. Desma, the first queen of hip hop, stayed queen. in the ice queen, stayed in the same street. So you can imagine what the hell was going on there. Yeah, you, you can imagine. You, know you can imagine an era that hey. I grew up in Lebanon. Yeah. you know. So Desma was also in the same street. Yeah. So that was around. I think I was seven, eight years old. All right, so by, by by this time then, when you see all of this and there's all this excitement, yeah. because I mean, uh, this is an international act mm-hmm. at the same time coming through because uh, because even when I started getting into the music industry, yeah. togetherness was always the prize. Mm-hmm. You know, so when you tell me what you're around all of that, so you you go to school, you are a girl child. Yeah. Um, how then do you find your position there? Do you be, start off as a dancer? Do you start off as a... Because well, there were limited uh, positions for women in that regard, um, very in, true. In, in, in the music industry, in that regard. So, when an Obo and Amang who were some of the people that you could say, I want to be that internationally or, or in Botswana at that time? You know, um, kind of back then I was still at primary school, yeah. and you know, I was just so starstruck. Mm. And I, you know, just across the street lived a legendary artist called Maggie Tipe. Yeah. Maggie Tipe has been, was a backup artist. She has sang with the likes of Miriam Zanzile Makeba. Yeah. She has sang with the likes of Sokamura Komo. Yeah. So she also had, you know, I never used to like the name Zanzile yeah. when I was growing up because I was like, you know, people couldn't spell it. People said Zanzile, no, especially Chops. You know, Chops would never, yeah, in Nakara, you know, back then, you know. So I never used to like the name. So, mm. you know, Mem Maggie Tipe was a very close friend to the late Zanzile Maria Makeba. The original so queen. it was till she told me that you do you know where your name really comes from? Hey. Do you know what this name means? Mm. Zanzele means do it for yourself. So I started to embrace the name and you know from that very young age I was already now really knowing there's gotta be something special because hey. this was just in just the name. Hey. Do it for yourself. yourself you know. And I was like, okay. So this what is the really gaps. Where do, do myself? where do these newspapers get this idea that you grew up in Mulaps? Is it because of the, the they hash just the hash file, They just feel okay, and a lot of what is your relationship with Mulaps though? Because all right, my I, I'll start first because my maternal grandmother yeah, ko ko la ping ki ki the hash file mm. So and then everyone is always thinking, oh no, this is nepotism. <laughs> well, I so probably gonna say that that you have, she had to get a home girl to be the first. Hey, okay, with me, so what um, is your my maternal, my maternal mm. family, Mama is a Hashfold. Hey. But before Mama became Hashfold, Nkuku, um, yeah. So I'm a princess. Yeah, hey, but yet oh, that's, that's why I'm saying I, that's why I'm saying that's why I'm saying I'm a queen. You know? yeah, no, I was you born, mama. you know, in a royal family. You no know? doubt. So my dad was half Kalanga, half Mozambican. Okay. Hence the name Zenzele Hashfold. Hence the features. So I'm a coconut, and hence the features. You hey. know, the dimples. <laughs> you know, hey, man, no, the African figure, been, all of it. You've you know? always been really, really unique in your own way. I just yeah. want to fast forward a little bit because mm. you know you. You go to high school mm-hmm. and you go to St. Joseph's College because yeah. that's where most of us meet your story. Yes. Or uh, you were promoting with Bo Me Po Pudi Pato. Yep. Um, 
how how did was that also influenced from your neighborhood or was it something saying like, while you were growing up okay this is something saying like, i can play a part in Okay, when I was doing my form to at Baran Community Junior Secondary School, yeah. I came upon an essay writing competition. I did essay for essay yes. these days. Yes. But it, it, about it, I think pri- Giselle yes. went to Marapula after yeah. writing an essay. Mm. At, I think, I don't know, you know, and there were these competitions back then. Yeah. Now this is where the Zen story really starts because mm. people are like, okay, she got everything on a golden platter. Mm. No, it was never that way. Yeah. So when I was doing my Form 2, I came across an essay writing competition. It was supposed to be sponsored by UNICEF and the then Bokem, which is now Business Botswana. Mm. And, uh, you know, I just read through and I still remember that the title for this essay competition was Our Future Employment Today, uh, to, um, today's no, our future employment. Mm-hmm. Today's never whatever never future never and tomorrow's whatever. It had to do with it had to do with the now and tomorrow's future. future. But what I remember is, I was selected to be to the top three, mm. and in that room, the chief educator for this essay writing competition, mm. he was working for UNICEF back then. Yeah. It was His Excellency, Dr. Eric Mukhetsi Masisi. And I stood in that room and I delivered my speech. Yeah. Lebadi, you know, I'm yeah, a no. great public speaker. You can mm. take it all away from me, but yeah. when I get into the stage, God takes over yeah. and I command the pre- my presence. Yeah. So, you know, I won that competition. It gave me you know, so much confidence to mm-hmm. believe in each and every dream. That mm-hmm. was just the piloting, yeah. the start of the Zen yeah. in Marang. And then when I was doing my Form 3, Botswana was launching the Convention on the Rights of a Child. Yeah. And I was selected among children to go and represent Botswana by why UNICEF. Think, why do you think you were selected in, in this? Was it because of the environment that you are around in your neighborhood? Like, where is all of that confidence coming from? All, all of that confidence is Is it your coming, mom? Is it your dad? No, is it all of that, that influence how? is coming from you know, I've always been a go-getter. Yeah. I was just this girl who just felt I needed to do it for the girl child. Yeah. All of that came with the confidence that I had. I had the confidence that, Lebadi, if I wanted and got into your room, you, I made sure my presence would always be there. Yeah. You'll always feel my presence. I would never in any day get into a room and let somebody else shine over me. Yeah. No. I would get in there and you'll feel my presence. <laughs> but this is the time where, like I'm back saying... Back then they would say, yeah, pap. Hey, because back you then, know? like I'm yeah. saying, in the entertainment space, mm. a lot of the women that we saw showing up yeah. were mostly backup dancers. Mm. You know, and um, when I, you go to St. Joseph's, you mm. organize these events. Like how I met you then. Yeah. And you, you heard that there's a lady. I heard called there was a lady. Zen. Hey. And she was a mover and shaker at St. Joseph's. Yeah. Fast forward. St. Joseph's College, I'm now a student there. Yeah. And then, Nekesa would, I must say, like, who the more nice is the more. Yeah. How does Karim go in the league? Sorry, I've got a cough. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, okay, fast forward, we're at St. Joseph's College, and now um, I'm doing my Form 3. We're the last uh, two year JC, by the way. Yeah. We're the last two year JC. More so, like a Form 2. Yes, yeah, so yeah. when I get the Form 3, Form 4, Form 5. Okay. That's St. Joseph's High. Okay. You know, so when I got there, I was just, you know, one of the very handful students. Yeah. You know, we're about like, maybe it was me, King, and Matthews, about three, four. Mm. So I was just the only girl from Saint, from Marang who was admitted to St. Joseph's. Yeah. My mother made sure that I go to that school. <laughs> because, because of what? Prayer. They fell for some they fell for some reason I really needed a prayer. <laughs> because I I already at that very young age, the Zen in me, I was already a go getter. Mm. I was doing this, you know, obviously I was writing essays, I was yeah. doing a whole lot of presentations. I remember that same year I had already stood up and I had already addressed um BTU when it celebrated its sixtieth anniversary. I represented students. Jeez, That's an intellect that people don't even know that I have. Because I always hear all of these people. About so it, when now, Haro, now, because this is public school, a lot yeah. of us, because uh, I, I want to move us to where you start making the gigs. Yeah. Because a lot of the time when you are outspoken, all mm-hmm. the more go public school, go yeah. Nyolenda, yeah. Eh, Papa, <laughs> where you never called Haro Papa or anything. I was, uh, you know, and this is a part where now I made him popular yeah. Because um, everybody felt Haro Kimwanya no Papa, she thinks she's, she's all that because already, I was spotting uh, 
you know, I came, I've, I've always set the trend with short hair. Yeah. You know, just to over the weekend, day, I had to just, over the, just over the weekend, Robbie Rob was like, do they know that you are the first girl who rocked a short hair as yeah. Kelly Cat look no at St. Joseph's Mama. College? No doubt. So I had a, an as Kelly Cat look. Yeah. And there was this girl called Mpopu De Pazo who stood amongst the crowd. Yeah. And she had the same look as me. And I was like, who's this chick? <laughs> who's this chick that wants to take on my spotlight? So when you guys started your new work entertainment, was it at St. Joseph's College? The dream was was started at St. Joseph's. Yeah. I was a prefect of the arts course St. Joseph's College. Okay. Yeah. There was a gentleman who really believed in me, a teacher who believed in me. He would say, you know, this girl is always... You know what you're saying? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It was next to the um, the field. Uh, the, <laughs> Did you have to the say that? Some I'm of us went you. there to pray. Yo, like, you know, that's where my mama was <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Yo, Elijah, <laughs> that's where your dad was hanging out also. A lot of people <laughs> went that side. And but like, I just want to get to, like, m- I don't want to move you too quickly, Zen, okay. because your story it gets like com- completely different yeah. when we move forward because here you are, you are this go-getter, you're yeah. doing all of this, mm. you're making your family proud Yeah. and then you fall pregnant. Is it during school or is no, it No, I was done. I was done with my four okay. five years. I was done. How long were you done? Give us a I had timeline. Hayley, I had Haley like when I was... 20 for 21. Because hey. I remember. Oh, you already done. Yes, already done. So you were in that space between, yes. am I going to brigade? Yes. I was on oh. that space. I was waiting for that. So, I, am so, I going to university? Am I going to brigade? Or am I studying some promotions? Then you can't say yeah. that's what you were thinking when you were with child. And then there's these young girls, also who are your peers, I mean, Paula and I don't know, Paula, did she go to university? No. Hey, she so went straight to STC. Lebadi, hey. believe me. Because I'm trying to understand. Hold believe me, we were those girls that knew what we wanted. Okay, but, okay, but before uh-huh. uh, uh, you went and then you started doing your own thing. Hold on, hold on, weren't you scared? Here you are. You just finished uh, high, high school. school? Mm-hmm. And everyone is... Because you're winning all these competitions. Mm-hmm. So Lebadi, everyone for sure had ambitions out. Yo, ah, why? Let so me take three. Let, let me take you three steps back. Come yeah. where yeah. we sit and pray. Yeah. And, Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where we sit and pray, hey. guys would, would would share. <laughs> I used to tell all of these guys. Juju boy would tell, would tell yeah. you. Kest would tell you because yeah. they were my juniors. When I look yeah. Yeah. when I look old, yeah. 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 So because Saint Joseph has always been a school of stars. Yeah. When we were seated, come at we talk about the vision because. Yeah. You couldn't even get a combi to come to back to gaps. And it has to, you so, have to leave school at 4 30. Yes. You have to stay there the whole time. Yes. Yeah. So we had all the time to dream and talk mm. about dreams. And I used to tell those guys that Dollar Mac was always. Well, yeah, was then also then that, yeah. I used to tell them that, guys, what is it that you want to do? And I would tell them, all of you guys, you're going to get in the entertainment industry, and I'm going to be the queen. I'm going to be the one who's going to be managing oh. you. That's where the dream was birthed. Yeah. And because we're missing that time mm. somewhere by going to playing in the <laughs> back. Um. So I was called by Clyde Sabanda one day and he sat with me and said, tell me, what is your problem? Mm. You are this gifted child. Mm. Why are you going to Matoris? Matoris yeah. Why are you doing this? Why are you banking some mm. of the lessons? Mm. And he said, I want you to find yourself. Yeah. And I made a turnaround. Yeah. After that, man spoke to me and tell, and he told me and reminded me of the yeah. great person that I was. Yeah. He reminded me of the highlights of the, the moments that Jonathan I had. Uh, Tabo okay, UNICEF, yeah. hey. Tabo, you know, yeah. the Convention on the Rights of a Child. Yeah. You know, and it I made said, sense. okay, it made sense. I became, I started now to become this girl. I was still a BFF to Mpo, yeah. who still put on a short uniform. <laughs> Slowly and surely, we worked through the past together, but I now had to, be, you know, now be the prefect. Yeah. I had to be that girl now with long uniform. Mm. I had to cut my hair. That's why the cheese cop story was born. Yeah. Because I had to be a great example. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, because I love short hair. Yeah, because Sinjo. I love short hair. I just yeah. decided, you know, I told my barber then it was gift. Yeah. You know how gift was? <laughs> Back yeah. then gift and more of hair pot. Those were the guys who started this hot. Bonele yeah. Ralph. We began yeah. to my brother Ralph. So I went and they cleaned up my head. And mm. I, ever since that day, I became the Mama Z. Yeah. You know, I, I started, you know, now mothering a whole lot of careers of my friends, yeah. of my younger brothers, of my younger sisters. And uh, we had the best, most successful mm. Miss St. Joseph's College. Yeah. 
Yeah. First to be sponsored by a private radio station. No doubt. Yeah, on FM. Yeah. Back in the days, double lieutenant, yeah. this boy, and Robbie Rob. When I was starting the Shakes the Mix was the, was the mm. station manager. And, and that's what I'm, I'm mm. trying to say. Or like, you know, you have... Then Haley. you know, we love her. You know, she's mm. out there looking pretty on the on the webs there. You better manage... Yeah. That bag. This money bag. <laughs> so w- w- all of that. How 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 did your your family react to that? Because you're ambitious, yeah, and, and all of that. And now here you are. Well, I got pregnant. Wanna. Yes. How how did you? Uh, I, I, mm. Let's start it off there. Being pregnant mm. and having to tell your family. And tell mm. even Bonabompo. How did everyone take it? Because you know the behind the scenes. And you're really pushing for the story, guys. No, I want the story. Because you're like, really pushing for it. Okay. Because, yeah, I, I got pregnant one. with Haley, mm. Chandler Pua Hashfeld, my one and only daughter, my beautiful like daughter. And, um, you know, I just left school. I yeah. just finished from five, awaiting my results. Mm. To see what I get by it's like a university, can I get a brigade, can I get a secretary, you know, so. Short handing, yeah. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I found out that I was pregnant. The first person I told was Mpupu Depat, who was my best friend, and still is my best friend. Guess I'm Mutusi. Because Mutusi would just go and tell my mother, like, right away. You know how Izahura is. <laughs> Mutusi has never kept even Any one single secret. secret. <laughs> Not even one single secret. Um. Yeah, so I told him, Mpo, and I said, you know, Mpo, we're from a Christian based background, Rosa Sinju. Mm. I'm not going to have an abortion. Yeah. I'm going to keep this child. Shush, and she said, my, ch- you know, keep her. You know why I'm I gonna ask you? I'm going to be a godmother. Well, you know why I ask you that? And you know, that. you know, my mother mm. chased me out of that home. And yeah. I could be. Hey. That's how Sons Unlimited now comes into the picture. Hey. I had to look for a job. Yeah. When I met you in Bovi, I was working. When you guys stopped into my office, <laughs> my job with a little infant child. Haley was one year. He was similar than promotions. Are you yeah, you guys came into my office. You, V, mm. Masi. I'll never yeah. forget that moment. Yeah. And I was working for Sons Unlimited to make means for my daughter because my mother was like, ah, I can't. Almost had. Yeah. So when I was so amazed. Jeez, man. So I moved out mm. and I had to look for a job. But my grandmother, my sweet uh, grandmother, Kathleen or Charlie Hashfeld, yeah. you know, took me in. Yeah. I stayed hey, hey, with my on. baby daddy for like six months and then. I was Thanks due for it. Yeah. So my grandmother now said, and I come back. And I worked because I had to learn. I had this young life yeah. who was dependent on me. Mm. So I had to go and work. And I started go, sing, uh, go Sounds Unlimited. I, I, I worked for a car consulting, audio mm. and home theater car consulting sound company. It was called Sounds Unlimited. Yeah. And I worked there for like two, two three years. Mm. You know, trying to raise money to take care of my child, to also take care of myself. Yeah. And the Zen dream, because mm. it was still there. So the Zen dream, your name, it was implanted since then. It's still growing. It's still growing. Even and and I, at the back of my mind, as much as I was raising my child, I was building the vision behind the scenes. Jeez. I was busy saving for my first show. And remember, I had met Mzambia. Msawawa yeah. at the first STS promotions gig. Mm-hmm. STS ke onyaka Brazil. Ke onyaka Brazil. But I met him. The Brazil we're talking about Musawawa. is Ray yes. Chili, the one who was from the neighborhood. He is the, the first promoter to give me a break. Uh-huh. You know, he was the first promoter. So unakila uh-huh. ababile to kola ping before. No, unakila ababile to kola stadium. And I had, met I had, then. you know, uh-huh. I neke nungwe kile kile to. So I had. Oscar and Nimrod and Gossi, mm-hmm. who were bold, who were owning Bulldogs, I had their numbers. Yeah. And they told me, they had already given me the figures. And me and Mpo were working so hard, because Mpo was already as STS, to say, our first salaries, we're going to make a gig. Okay, let's, let's, let me try and give people some context here, the chronology and I think. Mm-hmm. So this is after you had done, there was one show that you did, Kusula Fellow Hall. Yeah, this is where we're getting to. Uh, hey, yeah. your name mm-hmm. longer will be the one that you guys save up yes, for. Yes, that's what we saved okay. up Okay, yeah. Okay, so, so. And then Waiki Entertainment was born. Oh, hey. Myself, Mwitepi, and Mpo. Okay. The three of us. We started Waiki Entertainment, and Waiki Entertainment did the first ever Mokaburun. Hey. Mr. and Miss High Schools. Oh, hey. And it became a bang, because it became a bang. We brought Mzambia, we brought Mshoza, yeah. we brought uh, Masawawa. And in Botswana, we had, I had SCAR now. <laughs> uh, you know, he was there. Makimo were there. Yeah, man. Initially, it was supposed to be you and Makimo. Yeah. And V 
<laughs> called us live on radio. <laughs> he was blasting. He no, was like, like he's you the guys, one who has music. Yes, out, because we, we, we took those two. And then I can manage our own my keyboard. Now, as in a way, we are no, not aware. You know what the problem was at the time? Yeah. I had to go on at the same time, yeah. we're hanging out with him uh, at the same time, you know. But I, I want to get into you know what mm-hmm. you start making these gigs now. Where is Wiki Entertainment now? I mean, how much did you guys do? And when then, because you started doing the logos that was Zen Promotions, I don't know, like about 2000 and yeah, it was early, like five, four, yeah, I think 2004. JJ Graphics, hey. the only so, guy who was dominant. What happened back then? between your partnership with them, Paul? And then now this this time okay, I'm a bit I know I gotta go about is, it by myself. Now. When it was the three of us, when we were working, we're still working. So um, you know. Were you ever cow world also? Cow world and sounds like hey, were more like were oh, yeah, they, they were more like yeah, they hey. were in the same, they were in the same. Body. So, the so a lot of yeah, so a lot of people thought I worked for cow world, hey. and because oh, they were in the you know, same complex. Yes, or? because you know, as the process came, cow world was one of the corporate companies to believe it hey. in, in what I did. Yeah, so people confused me to be working for cow world. Okay, then sounds like because you used to also get like a sponsorship. From yes, those I used to get well. yeah, okay. used to get a lot of sponsorship from them. So what happened is. You know, uh, now we're working entertainment. We did, you know, Mr. and Miss High Schools. Yeah. We did quite a number of shows. And then I decided, you know what, the clock is ticking. Yeah. I need to do this on my own, yeah. full time. So since. Mpo, was it because Mpo was doing other work? Yes, Mpo was doing other work. Why don't you put Mpo it like was that? Also doing other work. I, I think we need to also talk about that. Mm. When did you realize that this partnership has outgrown? It's thing. Can I it was when, yes, on high side. Hey, when, oh, other, when my okay. other partners were now full time into the other jobs, and I had already left because you guys, <laughs> you know, I want to say this because <laughs> sometimes, you know, when <laughs> I call V and he pretends to be busy, I want him to, you know, to really hear this podcast because this is the guy who made me quit my job. Yeah. He came to me and said, you know what? I'm the biggest thing in the BWE music industry. Leave your job. Let's go. And always, mm. I'm gonna take care of you. Okay, he still does. Um, you know, you so still do. Crazy. And you so know, I, I I listened. Um. You know, and I, I I quit my job to be a full time manager. Yeah. For V, we had only Pompa to see. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no album to show for it. No, God, what mm. a risk! You can no. It was yes. Yeah. Introduction. Then, Ola, even... Yeah, it was introduction, mm. and then Olakazi was still quicking. Hey. It was still quicking, and you know. It always comes back to mm. that, though, because a lot of us then, you know, by meeting Mampis because of mm. his ambition and all of that. But I want to go back to your Naya Bulldog. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, now, you you know, let's, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Mm. Um, because of your connections with these people about outside of South Africa, yeah. how then this young woman who's a single mom also, who's also trying to make some money for yeah. her child, as mm. well as look responsible to her mother and her grandmother, but also uh, has mm. ambitions. How then... Do Oscar and Nimrod believe what you can do at all for Zambia, Mshosa, and Sawao? Um, you know, big up to my boy Zbizo. You know, Zbizo has always been a big brother. Okay. You know, as much as I'm a big brother. Oh my God, all the time. You know, all the time. You know, Zbizo will never give me props. Like, he does it <laughs> once in a while. And you'll just say, you know, congratulations, man. You know how he is. You know, <laughs> shout out to Zbizo, you know. Um, I I sat and said, Zbizo, I want to be an agent. Okay. I want to have a home. I want to I wanna have a home for South Africa in Botswana. And I need to start with Bulldogs. It was okay. before Mafiki Zolo and them, mm. you know. Come and on, Zbizo introduced me to Oscar and Nimrod. He made an appointment for me. I got Malala Mao and I went to Jubak. <laughs> the, <laughs> rest <is> <laughs> the rest is history. The rest is history. Because I met Malala and for that matter, I have so pinned. That's how my age gets all the way. And I was like, you know, I remember at one point I was like, Rahau, don't you have better music? And he said, Well, like, Umpona Mahar, but I'm a duel. You know, so that is just how. You know, music. I, I want us to give us like music an has always influenced. I want to give, I have an idea of mm. like these meetings because why is it like it looked like those niggas had more belief mm. in you than the people you left behind, and what really provoked you to say, uh, no, screw this, my calling is is, is somewhere mm. else, and you were able to come back with the goods. I mean, what in you do you think made them believe so? Lebadi, remember, mm. I'm that girl who, when I take the mic, yeah, when I I'm given an opportunity to present. Mm. 
I give it my all. Mm. I went there and I sat. Yeah. And remember, I already have a, 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 you know, a relationship with Yaron FM, yeah. which was the first uh, private radio station. Mm. And I already had a key to yeah. Yaron FM because now it was Mother Kusimori, yeah. the woman now in church. Yeah. Shakes and mixes his left. Yeah. And Mother said, whatever deal that you're going to get mm. for Zen Promotions, we're going to be your radio partner. Sheesh. Back then, it was a big thing mm. to have a media partner as Yaron FM. Mm. So that was my advantage. So when I sat down, I had already done my homework. I had already done my, my homework that, okay, if I go to SA and I say to those people that I've got an accommodation sponsor, I've got a re media partner, mm. you know, at least the three costs that mm. are major, like mm. transportation. Mm. And uh, I had car world to take uh, care of the press. Okay. So when I went there, I didn't go there empty handed. I got it was a, it, it was a deal that you. It was a business no. deal. Yeah. Uh, and already I had a big brother's visa who vouched uh, to say she knows his stuff. So what? And you, again, remember, uh, Mozambique had been before uh, to Mr. and Miss High Schools, uh, and they saw the way it, you know, the event, the whole event was uh, curated. And Msawawa was still coming. Coming up as well. It was even before yeah. Msawawa had his first single. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at all of these artists mm. locally. Yeah. I'll get into because your story is like a big, big one. So yeah. how then, is this how you meet Botops? How then are you able to, because I was on that tour, you know, Boom Zambia and Boom Sawawa. How do you get them all the way to <laughs> Mau? Yeah, you know, you remember the story. Hey. Now, I'm with MB and them are on board. I have you, I hey. have V as my artist now. Hey. And, um, can I scan? Scan was a tour manager. I came out because there was breakthrough. We told Scar would you'd put me in a lot of beef because uh, you know? make it, make it because there'd be there'd be Mudisa there, yeah. then there'd be Zen. You guys, happen was the contractor back then, yeah. So, anybody could say I manage Scar, everybody yeah. would say I manage V, yeah, you know. But, um, I'm just glad that I'm the first woman. No, we felt you, safer with you. you know, All these other guys were yeah. just difficult. <laughs> I mean, for anyone who didn't know, back then, a lot of the guys were mm. more. And which is why, like, beefing in your private school um, mm. and public school in yeah. until on to this day, it's yeah. like a, a lot of it were crews. A yeah. lot of them came together. Like, yeah. we identified because we never listened to you uh -huh. and we never listened to you. We never listened to you. So I think <laughs> I felt safer with you, yeah, because we talk the same language, and mm -hmm. that's why to this day, yeah. but anyhow, we yeah. go to 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 Maum, yeah, and uh, I mean that was my first experience of um, yeah. because me and V had tried to go there before, mm -hmm. mm. but the Gabali six. <laughs> Imagine that nonsense. And then we go with you. And yeah, well, it was a fool. Yeah, hey, it so was a fool. How, how then do you have this relationship with Tops, who by that time, when I saw me say, who is a real person, we just knew there's a man in my womb called Tops. How then did you make the connection, mama? What a day hey. to talk about this man on his birthday. On his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, brother. You know, you know Tops, I had just called him. And you know, I, 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 we spoke over the phone. Like I, said, I had met Tops, but seeing him from a distance mm. before Francis Francistown, yeah. he was big in Francis Town. Yeah. I had my late uncle who was called um, Muna Shuffle Hirschfeld. Yeah. Now we do have a pack. Yeah. He was known because he had, you know, my uncle could dress like night yeah. to blind, blind, So he was a friend to Tops. So I used, you know, the the, the fact that he was a. Uh, he was he, he had a relationship le my uncle le go tsana through to tops okay ebe ke mo hakola gore no ke mo tlogolo a ga a shafola you know i'm telling you i want to come there livi what 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 and you know how tops was ah ba ba ku tasi ba ku tasi nya ke ka ho nela o na le buka ke ho nela tshaela tse o ne le sone and you know ah ebe ke ro ke mdalo wa nyats so i made sure that i secured the bag yeah right you know, oh, I please. paid because remember I had savings. Mm. You know, and I paid. Damn. And uh, top seven, Nella Black. We did the bonus or whatever. Ah, I got to get Nanya Tango. He's seen you guys at least six. The night comes. Trackers <laughs> is full to capacity. Damn. Tops calls in the morning. Get a quiet line. Oh, how come And I'm like, no. 
Yes. I paid you guys out of the deal. Mm. It was never a percentage deal. This is all my I'm taking my money. Mm. I have Brazo doing my sound. Yeah. If you don't know Brazo and you're in the music industry, go and do your research. Shout out, G West. good Brazil. Brazil. Brazil was doing the sound. Yeah. And it's in the, he's doing the sound, he's doing the transport. So you didn't go there alone, shop. alone. No, I you didn't go there alone. You actually came with other I came brothers with at least. All other brothers and mm. other sisters. Because mm. Mishosa was already in the game. Mm. With Cortez. Mm. Yes. Mm. And mm. Cortez was still mm. a dancer back then. Maybe like, you know. Mm. So, yeah. Topsy. Ule zabafana baka hore ba zaka. Because. The percentage deal has to change. And I said, no. That's how my dinner said. We went and we were very fast to the I think Kwanaka. Mm. That's when we counted the money. <laughs> <laughs> How much was it? We had made 16 Gs back then. 16,000 pula. Yeah. That was a whole lot of money. <laughs> that was a whole lot of money. <laughs> it was a lot of money. Like, this is uh, why we have this show. Yeah, because you guys don't know how hard it how was hard to it get was. 16 grand. Because there was no there. social media, there was no nothing. But that's I what's mean, crazy about mm. Honor. You see how like how proud I am because like I said, we had six people there. Yeah. And the only national broadcaster that we did have around that time. It was RB1. It was RB1. Like, so, uh, RB2 RB2. wasn't really no, no, eh. that popular also. No, Yarona no, 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 was international. No, Yarona was international. Yes. So, Nero Bailey thought that the RB1. Tuzoski, who was our homeboy, really used to be the guy who pushed us back in those days. So, we did that show, Lebadi, and Tops called me. Abantar. Kuru Mwanaha Mahadi. Mwanaha Mahadi. Yeah. Kiwi. Tama, my mister. So that's I, how then he... That's then, how my relations, my friendship, mm. mentorship, everything came. Top said, I said, no, how about them? I didn't know that I'm going to do it. We come to gaps. Let's sit and let's talk the business because we made a deal. I paid mm. you off. So Tops was just so very interested to see well, who's this young girl on no can kiss in this industry. Because he believed to give him a kill and make a bonok. He came that. through and we met first Crazy. time. He he sat with me and all that I was saying was making sense. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm going to get you into my corner. Yeah. I'm your newest ma- mentor. Because yeah. now Uncle Chiliza was out of the game. Yeah. And that's how... Never yeah. monokile show again. Never monokile show, shabarengse, the show, whatever. <laughs> my, you know, he had lost all the money and he was like, I'm no longer doing this. And I he gave me the blessings and Tops became my mentor now. I want to ask you about mentorship and how important it is um, in your in your in, in your business in this yeah. line of business, mm. how important is it to have a mentor, and how does one get a mentor for this line of work? Because how mm. a curriculum that he read a mentor has got to be that man or that woman that really believes in what you do in your craft. Yeah. At the moment, you know, my mentor now, you know, is it's a woman. Yeah. She's called Daisy Mama Fichani, yeah. and. Uh, She's in a different industry. Hey. She's a di- in a different industry. It doesn't industry. have to be the same. But for me to have gotten her as my mentor is that she's a woman that, you know, really taught me the business hey. economically, financially wise. Hey. You know, they need to know how to save. They need to know how to have your, your cash flow. They hey. need to also know how to stay consistent. Because hey. consistency is key, everybody. Hey. I mean, you know, it is out of grace hey. that you and I are still relevant Sheesh. in BW market because trends change. Blend. You know, new stars are born every day. Um, God gives the, the limelight to all the children. To all of us, yeah. So it doesn't mean you are Zen today and you'll be Zen forever. Um, so I had to get Mephi Chani because I sat down with her and she was a family friend. And when I conversated with her, I knew that there was something that I wasn't doing right. Mm. And I had to include her to be part of my my mentorship. Does that mean opening yeah. yourself up completely to yes, the opening, thing? Yes, opening, yes. I just want to say, one month, one month, one month, even if, one month, one month, one month, one trust the blind, the blind. What if you are anxious mm. and paranoid like myself? You've yeah, got to, you've got to eh. let go of the fear. Eh. It means you've got the fear. You've got to let go of the fear and believe that every industry, the body has got its expert. Definitely. You cannot be, you know, you, the CEO, the director, the accountant, yeah. you somebody else has gotta do the critic. Let it go. Okay. Um we're gonna move <laughs> hey, frozen wanna we're gonna move on to like other <laughs> other other acts that you yeah. were very, very well known for. Mm. Um I mean to this day, Bujumujo, 
There was no I'm way I'm to I'm I'm looking at it here. Oh there was God. no way um, Mafiki Zolo came here without oh, you yo. knowing. There was no way Bongo Muffin came here yes. without you knowing. There was no way House Therapy Records. Like, all these people, Bo yeah, DJ, yeah, Bo yeah. Andy, Lebo DJ, TK. Yes. How then do you move from these young kids when yeah, now getting into, yes. into by the, the real worry. stars the real <laughs> stars how, how let's start with Mafiki Zolo I mean mm. were they the first ones that they were, were the your first big ones no mm. uh, house therapy house therapy house therapy Buzu -muzu. house therapy Mafiki Zolo it was more around the same time uh -huh. you know Bojo Bujo now I met Tops uh -huh. I know. Tops uh -huh. is on the picture uh -huh. Tops had done an event a uh -huh. uh, dog <laughs> <laughs> Peace, Give me four stories. I'm gonna say something again. No, 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 no. Is no, 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 that no. story? It needs to stay <laughs> the myth, the legend that it is. We know who was wearing that mask. <laughs> but Bonnie, how, how, how then do you, you you still working with tops now? And then how do you get with? He did a gig. He, he did an event, and yeah. you know they told them we need to, and it came back. Because yeah. You know, Tops was was what was, was you know he had the money. Yeah. He was already well established. He had a venue. So it was a greater advantage yeah. for a promoter such as him. So we got, he, he got to invite me to say, hey, come and meet uh, Bojo Mujo and yeah. his managers. And there was a, there, is a, there was a brother, he's still around, Ubidua Cry. Yeah. So I had a conversation with Cry. Cry yeah. And I told Cry that, Cry, I'm actually doing this for Bulldogs. Yeah. Are you interested in me doing it for your label? Yeah. And he was like, okay can try it mm. because of the presentation that yeah. I gave and because of the references that you know but Bo, well. Bo, 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 Bo Nimrod and yeah. Bo Oscar were giving mm. so he called them when he got to Jobek and they said no she's the she's the girl wow, and, um, that's how we did it and Julius came through also here he had my figures all over. He heard of me eh. through Dumilopang. Eh. Yeah, they already knew Yarn each other. Dumilopang of Yarn FM. Em. And Dumi said, there's this chick who's really doing it for herself. Yeah. She's called Zenzele. And... Um, Dumi introduced me to Julia Semekwa, who was the manager for Mafiki Zolo. And um, I'm very grateful, you know, when I mentioned Julius, because he's one guy here that went all out in terms of, you know, when we worked together with yeah. Mafiki Zolo, you know, yeah. and uh, he really believed in me. And he actually put money you know, some of the money we yeah. made, some of the money we lost. Yeah. Because he believed so much in Mafiki Zolo. I remember you used to say you know? that, but like this is then going to bring me to your, mm. the question, what was it about you that made all of these people um, believe so much then? I mean, a lot of people, they are mm. men, they are they always going to bring that up. Yeah. Um, Mm. For those people, by mm. let's say the, the girls that are going through something that's similar, yeah. mm. because uh, you know, the minute a girl gets uh, ahead in a male dominated yes. industry, that's yeah. always the question. Or is she sleeping with these dudes? Let's let's make that question that way. What would you say to those girls, Baba Harris, about the same thing? Because that that was a long time ago. Now I'm not trying to open up that nonsense. Yeah. What would you say to those girls, by They're doing that thing, but. You know. There is always that small talk. Hey. It still it lives within the society, especially in Botswana. Whenever, that you yes. also, so about, Whenever a woman is bestowed with any honor, hey. they would always try and put like, okay, she sleeps around, yeah. she has to sleep with the sponsors. Yeah. You know, it, it it it's always been there. But um, you know, how I've always done it is Lebadi. It's evident, it's out there. Mm. I just spoke of mother, mm. Mother Masiri, mm. who was Mother Kosimoran back then. A woman who started believing me. I just mm. mentioned my, my future. Yeah. I've had a whole lot of women yeah. believing in my craft and backing me up. Yeah. So I'm not going to, I wasn't going to really listen to any talks Him. that came with, um, I don't know, I was favored because I was dealing with men. Yeah. I couldn't change the fact that it was a male dominated industry. That mm. is how it was. I couldn't change it. But I needed to prove myself for a girl child, mm. somebody who was watching and say, because of her, I managed to do it. Yeah. That is the interest that I had in mind. It wasn't easy, I'm not going to lie. What were a whole some lot of the of hard guys, things, though? A, that, a lot of guys, yeah. The, the, there was a lot of stuff. sabotage. You yeah. know, you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had, you what know, it was, yeah. yeah. It was really tough and real competition. Yeah. And what I've loved about this, all of these male promoters is, None of them ever looked at me as if I'm as a chick. Mm -hmm. They never really looked and said, Kim Osaidi, or whatever. They made me because they made it hard. Mm -hmm. They sabotaged. They said it all. I want examples you know, because kind of people don't understand. Lebadi, I would be told. I would be told. 
I would get to, uh, you know, to a company, I would pitch my idea, brilliant idea mm. on paper, <laughs> you know, brilliant idea on paper. They would make up stories, the streets, yeah. that I'm sleeping around, yeah. that because I'm, I'm, I'm looking beautiful. But yeah. I always used to say that which entity, which brand company is going to compromise its image mm -hmm. by letting a fellow employee make a decision to sponsor an empty vessel. Yeah. If at all, I'm, I'm yeah. an empty vessel. Yeah. You have worked with me. You know yeah. my intellect. Yeah. You know my delivery. Yeah. And, you know, I am proud to say I started from rock bottom. Mm. I am self-made and I'm proud to call <coughs> myself the queen of promotions because unlike other women who are also great mm. in other industries, with me, there was nothing. I made my name from zero. There was no one else. I wasn't working for guy. anybody. Yeah. No, 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 no. I started it. That's why I, I proudly stay and say I am the queen of promotions. Because I want to, because this mm. is, Kana, I don't know if you know yeah. how many they are now. Mm. How many Zens are running around they here? They are. They are hey, a lot. Yeah. There's mm. even less dudes. Yeah. It's more women. And mm. w what would you tell them about if they want to get into this space? Mm. Should they go the conventional way by Gozgela? Because like I'm saying, are offering some of these courses. Mm. Um, or do you want them to take the road less traveled? Motai to the strata pele. I lose my dinyana. I sabotage you. You've got to do the two. You've mm. got to do the two because as much as it's said that experience is the best teacher, you know, unfortunately, we're, we, you know, we work on time. Yeah. Everything is around time. So, and trends. Yeah. Nowadays, you know, you've got to have a degree. You've got to, they, they can't believe as much as you can have 25 years of experience. Does it work? They would, it does work. In I'm, some I'm, I'm, I'm seriously asking you, what to do. all right, how many people are, like right now, there was a time where streets uh, must were working. Not body like right that. Now? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> waste your time in my nigga. Hey. Now the streets worked for me. Hey. I was made by the streets. I'm not gonna waste time and just say, you know, whatever. Hey. It worked for me. Okay. But you know, I, I really encourage, you know, because like I've said, systems and policies hey. they change. Hey. And nowadays academics say it's at all. Hey. It, no matter how much experience you might have gained, mm. you know, you'll be overruled because somebody else is just bringing a degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you are better off with having the experience and bringing the qualifications to it. Let's talk about signing. Um, well, well, I don't know if you're a booking agent for the people like Bo Mexi. Yeah. Um, I was a manager. You're the manager mm. for Mexi. Mm -hmm. well, how different is it now because you've managed all these dudes? Um, because I, I, like I'm saying, what it showed me... Um, um, because I get mm -hmm. now we're much older and mm -hmm. Maxi is a much more complex yes. artist. Mm -hmm. Um you did Maxi, you did Bonobo Nunu and then mm -hmm. Bonobo the ladies of jazz. Yeah. How how easy or difficult is it to manage a female artist in Botswana as compared to having managed um a male, male. Yes. Emma. Yeah, very interesting one. <laughs> very, very interesting because um, most of the longest relationships I've had is with the with the male artist. Why is that? I must say, um, with but I've managed Mexi for a very long time. The first female artist, mm. and with Mexi it was more easier because Mexi and I went to the same uh, high school. Okay. So there was a lot of trust because more. Okay. Eh, okay. Mm -hmm. At the school, you know. And uh, we remain friends. Yeah. We're still very good friends. Then how, so when it, it, it made it, 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 it made it it made it easy for the business part. And okay. when it came to the business part, you know, we parted ways when she had to do South Africa when she was going with a different. You know, you know when you sign your record labels, whatever. Sometimes they come with management. They come with a team. They come with a package and yeah. a team, and you also want to explore. Yeah. And I'm happy that with us, it was just more of a. You know, she had a better deal, and yeah. I said, you know, girl, you've got to fly your dreams. Mm. You know, you've got to, and uh, that's when now. I had to bring Staga into the picture. Yeah. And you and Staga, you had your own issues as well. Hey, hey no, can I'm no, always, you know? No, I didn't, yeah. these niggas just hated because I was nice. They just didn't know. I, wanna I don't know. I'm just, hey, you know, I'm the manager. Mm. I'm the manager. I'm not going to say anything. Blind, blind, I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to choose. I anyhow, love you hey, both. You know, right, so I'm not going to choose. I, I wanted um, to take on all the <laughs> one. Was it, but with us, me, me and Staga, I mean, was it difficult then having to juggle like people by the no, water no, beefing? between me and Stagger. It wasn't beef. It never was beef. Lebari, my son. It was never beef. Mugu. Ralph Williams III, the yeah. eater. You know, I, I just, I think that is one of the, you know, 
<laughs> the props I should give myself. Um, Imagine taking those two <laughs> and having them on the same management. Yeah, that is fun. one of the strengths that I really have. You Definitely. Know? Um, you know, I'll go with the Masai Dukoro. You tame a lion. <laughs> We'll write it in the, in How the I give you, you yeah. know, because I was just the only woman who managed to get both of you to sit. Definitely. And to say, hey, you guys are brothers. Yeah. You've got to do this thing. Let's not just listen to the people and listen to the culture. Let's do, you know, the collaborations. Let's work together. And it worked. It worked you know, we had, a, nice. we had a great relationship. Okay. It is often saying that they don't work well together. You know, um, unfortunately, or fortunately, you you know? <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> 60 percent truth because mm. uh we always are uh, just like Majita. Yeah. Laura now we have, you know, our own egos. Yeah. You know, that that that, that those women that believe, you know, who does she think she is to tell me what to do and what not to do. Mm. But you know, with me I had a track record yeah. that spoke for itself. Yeah. So when the when Nunu came into the picture and said, you know, we can be friends, my friend, but I need you to Come in, hold me down, and yeah. it made it easy because you know Nunu already had high key productions, yeah. and she was already a self taught musician herself. Yeah. Yeah. She was already an artist. She was already self made. Yeah. So it 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 wasn't really difficult to work with this woman, yeah. and I already had a record. Let me see a track record. Let me make see the likes of you, yeah. your V, and. Yeah. Um, she didn't need to go anywhere. My work spoke for itself. Happened now, get at the latest. Hey, yeah, no. I, mean, they, I don't remember going to anybody. We get a couple of manager. No. I want to wrap you up the, the the ladies part. You know, the artist yeah. uh, about how costly is it to be a, a lady musician right now in 2023? Because you know, you are representative, but mm -hmm. like you know, we are here at this interview. Yeah. You had to go get a face beat. Uh. You had to go and get your hair did. Yeah. You had to get the outfit popping. Mm. I can stand up right now <laughs> and go perform. Yeah, just the way that you are. So it's I'm, expensive, you know. I mean, no matter how we, you know, God has created a man and a woman in the beginning. Mm. But you know, what would you tell them? Like, because first of all, I mean, it's not what, easy. What, it's not easy mm. for for any woman. It was never easy for me. Because I, I did it amongst, I think I was one out of ten in my yes, era. Dude. You know, so it, it, it's never easy because we've got to put in the extra. Mm -hmm. No matter how much we say we're powerful. Yeah. No matter how much we say we're learned. Even the way we talk, mm. we cannot be... Yeah, so even the way goodness. we walk, you know, we're composed. Yeah. We think before we act. Yeah. We nurture. Yeah. So that on its own makes it different. We're women at the end of the day. And, no doubt. you know, no matter how much we do it, it's difficult nowadays, Lebadi, as you say, because it comes with a lot of responsibility. Okay. You know, that the trends and the game has changed. You've got to look the part. Yeah. You you know, you, you, for, a, for a woman, it's not as easy as a man. Yeah. A man, a male artist can afford to do all the wrongs. Yeah. And he'll always get a man, you know, a take with it. But we do male a blind, yes. blind now. When I'm almost, I'm almost yeah. ready, if I'm dating Scar tomorrow, Mm. I'm dating Staga tomorrow. Yeah. I'm dating Vima and Pisa. Oh, no, no. Hey. Mm. Um, Hattie, there's a, a question put in here by our producer, Mili. Hey. She's like, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a peel. No, it's not the crazy one. It's like, what's the difference between a younger Ska and Ska? I love that question. I love that question because Botswana, we're a society that does not build its legend. Mm. I love it. Let's learn to appreciate and build our legends. Mm. If we can build our legends, then those that have set the trend, like the likes of Ska, the Ska, the likes of V, mm. they would never in any day mm. be made to be compared yeah. to the now generation. I can never in my rightful mind in any day compare mm. Ska to V's of you mm. because it's totally different generations yeah. to start with. It's totally different. You know, the game... The culture, yeah. so many, many, many things have changed. Yeah. So it's going to be a different ball game for Scar. Yeah. It's going to be a different ball game for for the views of you. Mm. The difference is Scar had to start from nothing. Mm. View, views of you or Banty, it was already developed. Yeah, there was something. Senzala had already worked yeah. with Scars with Staga to know what it takes to build a hip hop artist. Yeah. So they got it on a silver platter. Yeah. But they, and, and it's not Developments to are there, also. yeah. It's not to diminish Policies are there. Also. There are better facilities. Hey, sure. There are better ways of advertising or marketing their brands. Uh. Back then with you, when, when we started the game, none of this was there. Yeah. So people, 
give the respect where it's due. Yeah. It's two different things. You cannot be comparing me to the new kid on the block. Yeah. I started from nothing, from zero, zero. We built, we built the culture and we lost so much, a lot. Sky, because we, 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 were, we, were, we were the Maria Makebas mm. and the Huma Sekelas for the generation of now. Of they time. now are enjoying the benefits. Yabo Kosbozi, they are hey, enjoying man. the benefits. You know, yeah, as Kansele, which is just was now because yeah. Bozenzele, yeah. we made sure that we volunteered. So I think many that's why times it's we went throughout also, the country. Yeah. Really bombo, mobo bomu, mobo beba. We sacrificed the body. Time, yeah. You know, my, my daughter, I had so many sleepless nights because I would get home late mm. because I was sitting in a board meeting with mm. trying to develop, trying to advocate, trying to speak of the change, the change of growth. And mm. this is now when it comes in where leaders such as M.E.K., His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Botswana, mm. give honors to people such as Zen and V, and people start to say it's politics. Definitely. They forget that these people have worked, they've built, they've cultivated, mm. they have ended, and it's time that they sit and actually advocate and also act in as a, you know, as guidance mm. to those who are in the powers. Definitely. To know how difficult it is to know, because we've been there. Yeah. We are the rough diamond. Definitely. I'm going to segue a little bit because that one makes me passionate. About, yeah. Uh, <laughs> move some furniture in here. Yeah. I want to move on to something else because you actually mentioned Brahu. Mm. It wasn't me. Hey. So when this question comes, <laughs> you did it. Um, I quote uh, from a newspaper article here. Uh, Botswana music promoter uh, Zenzel Hashfield has revealed that she was <laughs> the late Hugh Masekela's side chick for years. Now she's fighting to have part of his estate. Zenzel Hashfield, 37 at the time, has told the Voice newspaper that she has instructed her lawyers to serve the Masekela family, uh, demanding what is rightfully hers from the estate. I continue. Zenzel had a long standing relationship with Brahu. Like 15 years, you need to let me read it and then I'm um, confirming Zenzele and Brahu's relationship in a tender phone interview. Masigela's cousin and business partner, Re Lemi Dash Dash said, Yes, I was aware of the relationship between Zen and my late brother, but he is still my brother and I will not talk about his issues. But yes, I can confirm that relationship. Zenzele, close quote. Can you confirm or deny that there was a relationship between you and Bra, Hugh Masikela, Grammy Award winning artist of the South African uh, liberation struggle? Akish. <laughs> oh my Get God. Oh my God. Di Makato. <laughs> hey. Lebadi, huh? you told me strictly. No. We're going to go professional, not we impersonal. Oh my God. Why do you want me to talk about Bra Hugh? Because oh. like, he was also part of like this legacy oh. that you've created. Oh. I mean, and people want to know. Was there ever a time where, or mm. let me rephrase that question, where mm. you ever in a relationship with Brad Hugh? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Um, we had a relationship. Okay. Um, um, you know, um, I got so emotional because that's, mm. you know, we met and uh, Brad Hugh has really played. You know, a very great, great role into my, you know, into my growth. Yeah. Not just as Zenzele, yeah. but o obviously on uh, with Zen Promotions. Mm. But I always decide to say, you know, I lived with him and yeah. um, the past is the past. Yeah. Just like his brother, you know, Lemmy Masekela, who yeah. never wants to talk more when it comes to Brahu. I'd just rather say, I'm Wangha Brahu, so, you know, I really appreciate you know, what he has taught me other the industry, yes. the friend that he was, the lover that he was. And he rests and... Uh, no, and, uh, no, I mean, I, we're getting an exclusive. In the podcast, what do we do? <laughs> the ladies in the world, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I respect his family, so I'm not just going to hey, get into... You don't want to get too into... I don't want to get into details, especially about <laughs> what the part about... You know, I just, you know, I woke up and I even saw myself yeah. in a Zimbabwean tabloid. I'm like, what? Oh, my God. My request. 
and they use such a beautiful how, picture of but you. But how? Yeah, of course, you're gorgeous. But like I'm just saying, one word, like how did this affect you? Because this is not just another guy. This is a Grammy award-winning artist. Where longer his reputation is this big. This is on the back of his. I remember we used to. I used to tell him, you know. I used to tell him, you know, someday, one day, <laughs> the secret is gonna come out. And guess what? When we came out, they took that picture, Lefesto, myself, Nkolo Nkolo, and Brahim. That's another like they they made sure that they made that picture trend. Jesus, God, I'm cringing. Like you. And uh, back then, I was still just his manager. Hey. Like I was just still doing his. I was still his agent anyway. I, know, hey. I was still his agent, but uh, like I say, Sheesh, you know. It's the past. It's the we past. We cannot rewrite history. But did you it's want some of the, the inheritance, though? <sighs> you then, left something, Leon. No, I'm just saying, did <laughs> you <laughs> go there <laughs> looking? No, I never went there looking. So, but no, even all they some true, even all the, that when I learned it, yeah. and one, I never sent any lawyers. Hey. But two, if there is anything that Brahu might have written in this world M. into my attention and my name, you know, it's Obviously, yeah. I would want. I would want to know whether it's a love letter, hey. whether it's ten dollars, hey, whether it's one of the songs. So for all you know, yeah. maybe Uri Lema really dedicated to me. Ah, you know, because that's what you, you know. <laughs> so whatever that it is, you know, it's rightfully it'll be yours. Fair. It's rightfully mine. But yeah. you know, I've let it just go because it was just rumors. Yeah, uh, I think if if there was anything like that, his family by now would have we'll contacted me. Would have said something and. Um, I think we should just let his memory rest because, um, you know, Brahu was more than just Brahu. Mm. He had a great relationship with Botswana. Yeah. You know, he, he the first mobile music studio was by Brahu. Yeah. He was part of Kalahari. Mm. He has worked with the great legends that I really look up to and have worked with Bora Sokamura Komu, mm-hmm. Bora the late Ramporo Chamzamale. I want to talk about his relationship with yeah. Uncle John. So we're not just, Sololani yeah, we're well. not just talking about anybody. I mean, like, this is a, I want know, to ask you about that. Just... You know, my head cringed and you, you know, you promised no, 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 no nothing personal when I but Oh no, but like, okay, you, I just want to, that's podcast. just one last one. I'm now here on the podcast hey. and now you're putting me No, on the, we're moving no, to Miss Millennium in a little bit. I'm not going to answer the next one. I want one. the one they have on the okay. Okay, which one? Okay, because like I'm, I'm just this one is based on the fact that like this is a big deal, and this is a big homie. And weren't you afraid? Like no, sapaniki. Like what are some of the exciting stuff that you've done behind our backs? <laughs> I mean, you like, remember give the us movie? One. Do you, do you have you watched the, the Titanic? Homie. Have you watched the movie Titanic? It might have. There is a point where a rose says, and a woman's heart. Um, is an ocean <laughs> deep of secrets. A woman's heart is an ocean deep of secrets. Um, so, Lebadi, never ever secrets. say thing that you know. Okay, thank you to Yeah, thank you to Simple, simple times. Okay, and I'm never uh, ever try to run a woman in a race. No, I'm, I'm not. Because she'll beat you to the game. You no, know, fast, 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 yeah, fast. She'll beat you to the game. Oh, hello, ready to have. Yeah. Uh huh. Maybe I'm not racing with you. <laughs> um, I, I think we then move on to like the brightest stars that we currently have in BW, you know. Um, you I'm now relieved. Hey, no, we, we, we got through it. We got through it. I want to talk about uh, Ben T and, uh, and Vizo who just dropped OTV2. First of all, how do you feel about them coming back together? Wow, I'm so happy. I was yeah. with them this weekend. Yeah. They're doing something at Avani. I'm just so proud that, you know. They're back together, man. They're back together. And that's why I was with them this weekend. Even when mm. they did the, you know, the album preview, yeah. I was, you know, they, they asked me to be the guest of honor just to say something. Yeah, yeah. I saw you say I'm something. I'm really grateful that I've taught and I'm really, mm. I'm really proud of you, Ben T and uh, Vizo. You guys yeah. are killing the game. You guys are making me proud. Very they're much. showing that, you know, they really are Vines. from the school of Zen. No, this dude. They I are mean, really from the school of Zen. Baba Can Vani, you know? it's a whole uh, thing. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, they're pushing it to the next mm. level. They are not only basing on what they've no, learned. No, 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 no. Now they're putting their own personal they've elevated. touch to what they learned yes. from the school of Zen. They've which elevated. Is, which is really, really Everybody dope. from the school of Zen. If you're from the school of Zen and you're... Still, <laughs> you know what I mean. What I hope I did. Playing games. Yeah. I want to talk about Honore. Okay, you you are now working with these two young uh, people. By Honore, they are pretty mm. much... The brightest stars that yeah. we have in hip hop mm-hmm. in BW right now. I mean, yes, never no mind doubt. the fact that they're amazing in mm-hmm. studio, mm-hmm. but what they've been able to do because Malik that's one and Lee, Libo Vizo, Libo Benti. We thought yeah. back in the day, Nana Rababanaya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Lose ako no rotsa ne go maung go Francis Town no le mrapa. Ba gore go go trekkers. Yeah, yeah. Neba these niggas. Yeah. Are the first yeah. ones mm. who are khaburoni mm-hmm. blind blind to take this this culture all the way to maung all yes. the way to Kasani. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what makes them different from some of them never made it as far as bonobo maung and banna ba mpotsa ka bona these niggas how ba mponela ba mpotsa ba ha isa tlo le dibetela bo benti ba tlo le dibete ba nna ka kwa hela ka so what what was different about benti and viso why did you you know ka no lo go bo soka no lo go bo nunu you know why why these two Uh, you know when with Anabantha, when Benty's mom approached me for management yeah. you know it was uh, she was referred to by Shantilo okay Shantilo and uh, at first Benty was like ha mbona hala ko ta bona o le di nyana wara ah ke ha nya di tse tota tota nya di tse tota ni was like o le di tsa go tsa ntsa la ba go tsa ntsa la ba go ha peke ta le go shanti you know and i like ah wara tsa la go re nya o le di tsa go tsa di tsa la tsa gagwe she's trying to stop me just yeah. that right and you know it was at the you know He just released Naomi and mm. Naomi now he was getting bookings and mm. his mom said you know I'm just I'm getting calls I don't know what to do yeah. I don't know how to talk to promoters and I told her you know Benty's mom who's now is a very close friend mm. I told her that you know what um I can't go back to the game I've done yeah. I, I can never surpass what I've yeah. done no, yeah. You want me to go back into the game and yeah. you know the mm. trends have changed and this woman was like Somehow when she was conversating with Shanti Lo, mm. Shanti abama sebetsa my booking fee mm. and Shanti had information about yeah. you know Zen promotions accounts and whatever. Yeah. This woman abara tala my dimo account. Ah. A management fee. You know? <laughs> so I'm like okay. Oh, uh, what's yours? <laughs> what's yours? <laughs> Then bank balance said uh, okay. <laughs> Lump sum plus. Yeah. And I'm like hey, what do I do now? And it's something that I really prayed about because mm. you know I'm a very spiritual person and as mm. as I was just praying and I was just doing God kept on saying you need to go back mm. you need to go back there's more yeah. you know and I I just kept on saying you know God redirect my steps mm. how will I find you know the new V mm. because V was you know that one that really made you the know, one only vampire like, you, know, you know he believed in me when nobody else locally believed in me yeah. so um When the moment came, yeah, yeah, it is. I know people don't believe in prophecy. Yeah, it is a moment that was prophesied, mm-hmm. and I knew when the time was right. Was it Shanti who prophesied it? <laughs> yeah, I know, like Shanti out here freaking me out with the spiritual oh, side. Oh, yeah, yeah, Shanti is very spiritual. spiritual. Uh, person. I knew, I knew, and I felt it. Yeah, because when the time is right. Yeah. When the Lord makes it happen, everybody you know that there's a start. I was a bit scared for you. Yeah. At first because like mm. I'm saying, mm. it was like, all right, mm. cool. What doesn't this feel like a, mm-hmm. a step back? Yeah. What is it about this little nigga? Yeah. And then he's new kid on the block. I, and I, I wasn't even Maybe going out that much. Maybe might be a one hit well. wonder. I went yeah. to the press conference yeah. just to go and see your mug, like to see your face. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? So and then it kept moving. And then it got bigger. And then it, it got, got it, it got, got national. It got big. It got national. We got the yamas. We backed the yamas. Hey. Because, yeah, he's from the school of Zed. We, you know. No, th- those yamas got in a little on its own. Yeah. We, <laughs> was it 2016? The ones that the, the guys got all of them. Yeah. But we, like, we okay, like, so when when you're around all of, because I find it hard to be around that well, age group. In like our teacher. Ah, yes. How were you teacher, able yes. to hang out? Mutis is Especially... always saying that. That can I carry on with my teacher? Can I head master at a school? Hold on. How you know? how were you able to like because for someone who's seen it all, and yeah. that's a lot of the thing about Botswana. Yeah. They're unteachable. A lot mm. of us got mm. uncertainty. Well, when a lot of us are unteachable, yeah. and we don't want to learn new mm. things. How were you able to adapt in that regard? Because you have to understand. I'm thinking my figures all. I'm mm. thinking the scars, the, yeah. the staggers. Now as the in Vs, jazz, I was in jazz. And now you're getting yeah. older, old Sakahana. Mm. You know, and these are younger mm-hmm. and much more. The social media involved. Yep. Um, there's drip involved. Mm-hmm. How do you? Manuva. How did I fit? How did I fit? Uh, <laughs> My nigga. Okay. How first, did you first, do it? first of all, you know, with 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 every vision, with every brand, it takes a team. Huh? Mm. I had to build up a new team, and uh, I surrounded myself. I sat with Benty and said, "Okay, 
what is your vision? What do you want to do? Hey. Tell me more about you. And he told me about him. He was already, you know, doing his wife's soul, but on a small scale. Hey. You know, I got to know and I asked him, what is it that you want from me? Yeah. What would you want to, like, give me a list of things that you want to do. He said, okay, yeah. I'd like to headline in Botswana when there's an international artist performing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to win a Yama. He said, a Yama. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I'd love to see myself going beyond the beauty. <laughs> a lot of rappers have not, you know, a lot, a lot of rappers. Oh, and he me said, I'd love that. to see myself having an EP mm. on an album because yeah. he just had Naomi yeah. and uh, Why So Faded was also out. Oh, yeah. And there was, yeah, and there were already, you know, there was already beef that was looming. And I said, okay, that's mm. now when the Mama Z comes. Eh? Because the title, uh, what mm. I love a lot about Ben T is that no, I'm not going to Yeah. Marna as a guillotine, the Diragal movie doing it. Marno on a lanyard of from Batwana and Alabon Mupin. Yes, they felt he did They felt he didn't deserve it because he wasn't. No, but you're not good enough. No, I wasn't good enough. Listen to a rapper. Mm. I've been there. Yes. Hey, I've been where there's a situation mm. where you. Where they feel like you are the weakest link, yeah. or but you are the one who's more passionate, mm -hmm. and you are the one who's bringing Zenza, yeah. And then you get better, and I'm hearing him now. Mm. You gave him a space to grow. Yeah, I gave him a place to grow, and I believed in him. Mm. That is what really made him, you know, persevere and made him grow. Yeah, because he knew that I believed. You in had him. his back. I had his left. back, and it hey. was at a time whereby, you know, it, it was a 50-50 chance for 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 the brand hey. Benty because. These are his homies. These yeah, are his he like that, was, yeah. The hit song mm. is Why So Faded. Mm. And he's got Naomi also coming. Mm. And my job as a manager was to make people appreciate Naomi. Yeah. Why because it was more about his friend. One. And we worked tirelessly. Mm. I built a team of young men mm. and his DJ. Um, my cousin who played a very huge role in Benty's career. Mm. Um, may his soul rest in peace, uh, Hassan oh, of Tronic Arts. Yeah. You know? um, there was also Hassan. And we got a guy who was a road manager, Papiki, mm -hmm. back then. And then it was myself. That was mm -hmm. the team, the original team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Benti. And I said, boys, let's work. Yeah. And we worked so hard. We took the media, we took the music to the radios as far as Bath Town. Yo. We went meet and greet, yeah. corporate. We went everywhere. Yeah. It was all about Benti. Yeah. I made sure. I made sure that even the older generation of promoters, I made noise. Mm. You know, when you make noise, you get attention. I made noise. If I could convince Easy B to book, <laughs> to book Benty. Because Linda yeah. Kuta was wondering well, how mm. is she doing this? But I also want to say one to you, though. Uh, what does it take to be able to be Zen to another artist? There's nothing. You know, uh, what can you say to people who have ambitions of doing that for and they think they can do it? Well, in 2023, I yeah. do I do the stuff. Do you watch movies? I do watch movies, yeah. Mm, I do the stuff that they do in the movies. Hey. It's simple. <laughs> I'm persistent. Hey, hey, Corey, I, if I want some, I can re, I'm, I can make you. It's about going. getting off your bum and going. I'll tell my bore, that lady, hey. that woman. That is just what I did with the brand Benty. Yeah. I didn't, God, I couldn't take you no. No to me ne meant next opportunity. Hey. It didn't mean stop. It meant next opportunity. If I sat with you and I told you, I sat with a whole lot of friends, yeah. especially in corporate. Some were saying yes, nah, it could work. Yeah. Some were saying no. And at the same time, he came from a background where his mother was really supportive. Yeah. His parents. And he had already done his bit as well. Yeah, nah, he like, put in the work, mm. you know. Whenever I was saying, we are going, be up at 7 a.m. He's up. You know, he was driving me around town. Like in Lukinia. <laughs> you need to know. Because it's not just going to come to you. And he had to go on a, on a, you know, he had to take a break from school. Because I told him, it's either we built this mm. and there was a demand. Yeah. You know, now look at him. He's out there. And he's finished his school now. Wow. He's out there, you know. Um, wow. get, you know, he's out there now. He's doing his music. Yeah. And uh, That's really, the rest really is nice history. And he inspired many. Mm. Then Viz of You came. Yeah. You know, no, before Viz of You, then MMP family came. Yeah. WMP. Because I also wanted to, you know, to, to show people that this is still in me. Yeah. I'm still the Zen. So I, I had M uh, MMP family. And then views of you followed, mm. and then drama boy, and then D boy, followed, then D boy yeah. followed, and then 
you know, Larry Don Cap, the last born. Hey. You know, and, and wow, then. then after 16 years of doing it, I said, I'm not I doing need to take it a bow. Anymore. And I took a bow gracefully. <laughs> I want to talk about mm -hmm. when you move on to these other new things that you are into. Yeah. Um, because uh, you ended up also Mobutana Ent Entertainment Promotions Associations. Um, uh, yeah, Bob mm. I I'm going to go through these organizations quickly because okay. we don't have the time to get into the politics because. <laughs> Bepa, what does it do and is it effective? I think mm. I'll ask those questions that way mm. from your point of view. Yeah. Um, you've been in the institution. Is it effective? And what does it do? Yeah, BEPA is effective mm. and it's 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 compliant. Hey, hey. Uh, shout out to my boy Pipiza who took oh, over the did. president. Yeah, he took over the presidency after I resigned. Um, Can you see this guys? Like you say, you don't want to get into the politics. There's a lot of politics Robert in there. Mugabe, <laughs> and they went behind my back. But it's a story. But, I never do. <laughs> but, I like that. <laughs> but do they get funding? Like, uh, but I'm happy helping? they did because God had another plan, you know. Because <laughs> they get money and then they kicked you out. No, it wasn't about that. Um, it was about the well, fact someone that says it's not about the money. Yeah, you know what it it's wasn't, about? Mm. It's about the money. Yeah, it, obviously it's about <laughs> the money. But uh, w whether it is that you know, na na lebadi you know, they can't touch you. I don't. Corey, when I believe, I'm principled. When yeah. I say it's an A, it's an A. Oh, yeah. So sometimes, <laughs> you feel you feel like women are weak because, uh, no, I stopped that uh, you know, you know long, 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 certain long, things. Long, long, long. And uh, I think a whole lot of my brothers and promotions is, they know my capability. Yeah. But no, just a few guys like, uh, you know, Fish Babalenga, my Kenzo, you know, they were very patient and believing in women empowerment. Yeah. Because even separately, yeah. they worked with, they worked with, they engaged me you know, in other endeavors, you know, they yeah. uh, they had to do with the, with the music. Yeah. A whole lot of band felt, felt like, you know, Zen's time is up. We want to go in hard. Yeah. You know, we want to go in hard because one minute they'd want to do it, one minute they'd... And you know, as a woman, you want to give some of the things a chance. Yeah. You want to do them with protocol. Yeah. You want to do them with order. Give love a chance. You know, you want to no. give love a chance. Yeah. And, you know, they felt because... I, I, I think that was a time whereby we're over and done with the board 50 because board 50, I was very vocal. Yeah. And I was, mm. you know, we can't have certain people. Mm. We can't have certain people preferring South Africans over us. Over us yeah. When we have built an industry out of nowhere. Yeah. When we've got children and kids that are talented. Because yeah. we don't want a story whereby you don't give Bozen Zelen Boska to lead in that prime. Yeah. And then when Zen is 60, that's when you want, want to call him to be them. A chairperson oh of God. Botswana Independence. Because what am I going when, to be doing? Yes, because when she was at her prime, I when that. she knew what she was doing, mm. we never gave gave her a chance. You think that's where they're going with a lot of people? This is where that is what they're designed. doing. Eh. That is why they're always comparing you to these little boys. Eh. Because they forget who you are. They forget that you played a role. Yeah. You know, they forget that you, you know, when you started this music back then, there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. We laid the foundation. Yeah. They forgot that we took the bait. So how do we, okay, so I'm going to move to the next uh, institution because you've been a part of also the Botswana Music Union. Mm -hmm. um, why did you leave? Or were you also, <laughs> no, um, you know, I can do like you, you serve a role maybe two, three years or whatever. Yeah. So we started Roto Roto Kobo Bomo, it was Bizo, Beppa wasn't there. Yeah. And then we found that there was a need to have promoters because um, promoters serve and you know we have this, the same body representing both yeah. oh, so, that's so why artists you felt unfairness so we said okay run as promoters yeah. because we also felt that we, we also played our part yeah. before and way before my sec mm. yeah, we developed the creative space. Let me ask this. Do yeah. you as promoters feel hard done by my sec? Yes. Or hear the musician and the madi? Lona. Lona Yes. During COVID. Yes. Because we, we, we had built the industry. Yeah. Especially people such as us by Longori were not just only promoters. Yeah. I developed a whole lot of oh, artists the from nothing. I spent my own money. Are they listening? Are they you listening know, to... We spend our money. We were there. People, guys such as PP, let us sign the artist Yeah, I know. And there was nobody. We made a platform yeah. for this artist. Yeah. And the least that they could have just done. 
was to acknowledge that we exist. I, 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 that's the problem, though, mm. because you guys, I, we expect Lonabai and are in these bodies, like one bobo, bobo, yeah, yeah, and I think that, I'm, like I'm saying, this is why we have a show like this one, so that mm. we can try and connect the dots, yeah, you know, how do artists get gigs? Mm. Let's say, an ensemble, mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, presidency. Mm. And um tables in mm. in Kasani. Yeah. What do I have to be registered with mm. to make sure what I can be considered for the city channel? Let's say that. Oh, until someone calls me myself, are, are there things that I can get into, like register for BOM, register mm. for Cosbots? Do is there a way in or get a honor? Maybe because you're deleting and even get assistance from people like yourself who might be in those boards as well. I'm just happy that we're doing this, yeah. you know, we're doing this interview right now when there's a Nats Council. Hey, hey, I'm just happy that, you know, we I are doing all of this. It, <laughs> why now our tirelessly time and all that we've put in, the hard work, yeah. finally there's a Nats Council. Mm. I'm just actually grateful that uh, we live in an era where by now we have a, a governing body. Mm. And I can just say, let's give them a chance. Hey. Let's see what it takes us. Yeah. And uh, we've got to note that Lebadi, it takes time when change comes. Yeah. It's not just going to take one year mm. for the Arts Council to know what it's going to be doing. Because they need to familiarize. I get it, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, we, they can only have a handful. Hey. You know, I know. That, you know, as much as Zen's story is inspiring, as much as Zen has influenced, as much as Zen has been, you know, a patriot, there yeah. are also men and women in other different who are also capable. Okay. So we must also know what it is. Maybe when I know, not maybe. Yeah. 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 You know, I believe that there's a time for everything and a season for everything. We're rounding up in just a little bit. Mm. Um, uh, its purpose has grown over the years and it's branded itself uh, mm. an event of note. Mm. 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 Don't forget that. You can come through. There's a TV and yeah, the it's bathroom. It's really posh. I, love, I just love that. Beautiful. It's amazing. Let's not get too deep into it. But like mm. I'm, I'm saying, I'm Mm. Um, it's a big deal when there's Miss mm. Millennium we have. Every February, calendar event. What was the, 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 the reason for you setting up a, 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 a pageant such as this one? Wow, Miss Millennium was, after, you know, it's always said that the world begins at 40. Yeah. This pageant, I became a custodian brand ambassador from the age of 28. I was just this young girl. Yeah. And I met both men and women who didn't even look the part after they were over and above forty. And they <laughs> had this vision. Worse. <laughs> yeah, they had this vision of, you know, building up a brand that represents women, Him. but a community development brand. Okay. So what really made me fall in love with this idea was the fact that it was a community building project. Okay. And it was a fact that it was, you know, women empowerment. Him. And I felt that I needed to challenge myself with something different. Yeah. I do shows, I do events, but you know, I'm also inspiring to a get child. Eh, but eh. what is it that I do that I can that that can just be evident that eh, indeed, tangible in you know, know, mm. I give back. Eh, eh. And this is a platform that, you know, Zen promotions now dedicated its time without failure every year. Eh. That every February we host it, we get to sit as women. It's a giving. It's a giving project. Mm. We, we, we it gives us to charity, especially about the surrounding areas yeah. in Mogoditani. We started it from nothing. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we still struggle to get sponsors, but without fail, every February, no matter what, mm. we hosted. Yeah. We're still pleading to get sponsors, and uh, it's one thing that really takes me back to my humble beginnings. Yeah. Because in Mogoditani, yeah. but the way we, the the way we we present it, the way we host it. Mm. It's like we bring Hollywood to Mugodisani. Definitely. From the stage to the sound, to yeah. the performers, yeah. you know, to the contestants, to everything. It's a mainstay. I mean, mm. I think a lot of us more, more beat up. Yeah. We forget 
bo ra solo sele consistent like rona mo poding yana na ratola baking yana elo wane yana yana ka re tweet ba tlhano ba simolla go batla go go rite ba tsa ba lebella ka go but like sometimes the consistency yeah. that you guys have is something that we mm. you know we, and the we, we look at as well and because hone gore something that i learned back in the day when i was performing hone gore but so i get shocked sometimes when i'm watching something mm-hmm. done by someone more born yeah instead of just celebrating it they're literally just sitting waiting there like, for that for the moment Ooh. yes so with yours it's like you guys keep going and mm-hmm. it's something that i'm really really happy about i also mm-hmm. want to ask about the um the clash of the giants yes um you had the conf- press conference down i don't know if the show did happen uh your name yeah uh, the clash, uh, clash of the, of the giants it did giant. it did franco chama girl ja um, praise ja praise mm. um are you planning on doing more what is clash of the giants yeah post po- post covid clash of the giants was just uh an idea to celebrate the giants of music mm-hmm. and uh, the whole idea was for it to feature not only botswana's greatness mm-hmm. but africa bring africa to botswana mm-hmm. you know botswana is such a beautiful country lebadi mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we have such a beautiful country you know we 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 first of all we wanted to sell, to, to sell the music culture mm-hmm. the idea was to have clash of the giants across africa like mm-hmm. we've had japraza the next year the following year below we do the same thing so covid mm. covid happened and there was just a lot of strategies a whole mm. lot of things that were birthed and uh we've had the first inception mm-hmm. but most definitely the second inception will come it's just that we find ourselves um you know like i say trends change a whole lot of you know the market gets Things are changing. Too congested. I never thought and I'd see the And responsibilities. I never thought I'd see the And day. responsibilities as well. I know. I was just uh, a young girl who started the game. I had a young baby, Haley, and now Haley's twenty two. I want to ask. So certain we, things, certain things they change. I want to ask before we, we we shut it down and talk mm. about things changing, mm. um, especially because you know um, your your your, ma- your dear mom has has uh, sadly departed. Mm. Um, how are you coping with that? Because that like that was your pillar of strength mm. um in many regards from personal experience how are you handling it i saw just recently there was like an anniversary i could write sort of thank you didi mala facebook la how to in netela memories so yeah, how are you mom, treating that my mom passed away on valentine's day which is a very challenging thing because mm. my mom passed on valentine's day um 2021 yeah i valentine's day that particular morning 14 february 2021 around 7 am i got a phone call yeah. that my mentor tops my soul is no more and, also the same. and yeah on that that day and um you know i just couldn't believe it mm. because this is a man that has really contributed contributed immensely mm. to my career and um i was broken obviously as mm. a human being and um around 3 4 o'clock I, i i had to go i wanted to face this news ke go utlwa bana ba ga top se ba ntatolele ke utlwe the arrangements mm. you know so that i know because it meant kana ro khutavo mari ke ba bi pelo ga wa 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 organize and so it's not from the people to yeah, all of so it I, i knew that i had to go and you know see the masoles and mm. play a role to see my father mm. in music to see how he crossed and his memorial and everything and also just kwa go tsidisa the masoles because we are Botswana yeah. and when i was there i got a phone call and um, my daughter was saying your mother is not feeling well and um, i waited for my mother to say come past five or whatever yeah. and then she kept on persistently calling and i was like I told her Gilema yeah. I don't know why this child is present well. So I'm like so I was with PP yeah. and uh PP was this phone call something you know it's really disturbing I think let's go and see and then all of a sudden my daughter says um Risa mama had clinic in extension to Rokopawemea and then I was like okay yeah. it was covid and it was during covid and I was like is it covid is it? I asked myself and um i went there i was with pp and um pp just dropped me like a lot what's my then my stepdad just said to pp no wait oh. he had gloves on i still remember that day and uh, my daughter also had gloves and 
my stepdad said, "Me o una le o me maro sa so kuto kala." Le body, I think I fainted. I woke up to find Bofelo Sohoto, my brother there, who's also a fellow promoter and Mox. How mm. I found them there, and my world just. I felt like I didn't want to wake up, mm. but um, it's the change that I should, I sh I, I should embrace. Yeah. I need to go on, and uh, you know, my mother was a woman of faith. Yeah. You know, it rains cats and dogs on that day, mm. and I had to be a woman. I had to bury my mother. Mm. I had to also see that I honor tops. Yeah. And that is why I chose on that particular same week to go and speak Tops. as as a mentee waka tops because yeah. there was nobody else fitting to have spoken about my yeah. father yeah. Yeah. and my friend. Yeah. And uh, you know, I I I, I, I went through the process. Yeah. You know, it's a process, it's not easy. Grief is not easy. Yeah. I, I had to take a break from school. I was yeah. at Limco. Yeah. I was one of the beneficiaries for the dance series. Limco oh, Queen yeah. um, Creative Arts, and you also are. Yeah. And I had to, you know, because I wasn't doing well, so, you know, mm. psychologically, um, you know, mm. I was asked to take some time off because yeah. of what hit me. And um, a whole lot happened. I lost Drama Boy, who mm. was very close to. I lost my cousin Tronic, yeah. who I had also introduced. Hassan. You know, and got him to really believe he was mm. also now... Um, doing stuff for Viso and Venti. So you can imagine. I found out who he was. It was like there was this dark cloud mm. surrounding me and I was like, God, no, I'm too blind, blind. I need to pause and breathe. Mm. I even, you know, said, I, I don't, you know, I, I prayed and I said, God, this needs to stop. I can't yeah. be losing everybody that surrounds me from Mozai Duwami to Mozai Duwami Wa Industry mm. to my sons, mm. you know, in the yeah. industry. So it was just too much. And Jeez, then, man. you know, yeah, but here I am through mm. the strength of God and through everything. I'm now a survivor. Yeah. And like I said, this brought all changes. I got a certain project, mm. you know, didn't want to, you know, did, did take a break. Stand by, yeah. I couldn't do Lena Miss Millennium. I just said, you know, mm. and it happens on the 14th. Yeah. So you can imagine that, you know, I produce just like proverb, I produce Miss mm. Millennium and I host it. And it's February. Yeah, so Jeez. I need to take a break because you can't just stand in the crowd and say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miss Millennium. You know? logistic, logistic problems. problems. Yeah. You are now a you full time mother to your child. You know, you know hey, man. you've earned responsibilities, you know, so. Sempe. No, no. But no. I survived. No, and you did, and mm. I'm seeing an, a, a new day is dawning yeah. in the life mm. of Zenzela Heshfeld. But before we get to mm -hmm. that part, when are you getting married? Mm. Hey, Le, by the way, marriage <laughs> doesn't define. <laughs> I never said anything about what marriage defines. I'm just marriage saying. Marriage doesn't define. Where is Indoda? I've met you know, some brothers hey, in yeah. our time. Mm. You've introduced me to that nigga. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> And when happen you love, I mean, you're a Scorpio. Yeah, you know, I'm a Scorpio. Passionate. You know, so, why, why would I you know. ask me questions like that? You why? Know, you I'll, know, we can we can be we can stay in a relationship for four or five years. But you can keep what the mistake? same surname. Why aren't these guys popping the question? Or are mm. you giving them the what is going on? You don't want to get married. Hey, um. I just want to know. When I was once engaged to this, <laughs> you know? no, I'm just saying. What is then? Okay, there's you know? a lot of really. really okay, with I, I didn't get married with man expecting because I felt like rest in peace, man. You ex. know, I felt like uh, we're both. Okay, I was older than him, but I felt like that's the new cool. Really, really, really bad, you know, yeah. and uh, I just felt like I needed to. I needed to, I needed to grow. Like, you know, then, no, you don't I, just want to get married. <laughs> What's the problem with me being not married and still There's living? No problem with and still I'm living with asking. Mr. X. I'm just asking. It's Mr. Okay. X is in the picture. Why 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 oh, should is a Mr. X you want yeah, you want no. you want him to I mean they, Does marriage validate? No, you know it, it does it not. Is? It does so not. So what is it with this whole marriage thing? Because like the thing when is When the time is right, he the Lord will make okay. he will make it happen. Okay, so it was about when the time is right. But like, mm. okay. Because like okay, we've seen divorce rates. Maybe <laughs> it's because we're not all bad. Can I, can you I don't want it to go up to come crashing down. Can I agree on those two marriage proposals? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay. Imagine, right. you know, 
was divorce hey divorcee what what double what? barrel imagine people know you as as and then now <laughs> <laughs> I know. no i feel you I'm, I'm, no, I'm maybe gonna... i've got maybe maybe there was that fear as well huh? I must what admit, is it but, okay I must so i admit there was once a time where that, that i was just fearful what is when did i just lose that but women in our in our space though why is well, it so well, difficult for them yeah i feel like you know in our body music is, industry, not, in our in another our thing the body is industry. not easy for for women such as us to be approached eh? hey. um, you know because <laughs> yeah it's, it's just not easy no mm. it's not easy for 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 men to really say that i like a it, you know they they feel it's, like the strong persona that they see mm. you know even in marriage we can submit we can whatever but yeah. you know once you are you, are with, <laughs> you have but that no. man in your life you know they understand you know um i have a relationship it's great um you know and uh yeah i just want to be me <laughs> i just want to be able to do my but you're happy i'm happy yeah, uh, if, if marriage comes but yeah, but well, well, you know, um, get out already. Um, I have a child. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, is running out. It is here. just about to graduate. Hey, you know, it's just gonna start work soon. So, you know. Yeah, 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 you can adopt also. I mean, but anyhow, I'm gonna <laughs> wrap it up with um the Botswana Democratic Party. Um, <laughs> has been. Yo. No, what what has happened between you and uh, the BDP and mm. you know what can you tell young people about your relationship with politics at this particular juncture? Okay, one, everybody I've always been a democrat. Okay. I think you know um yeah. I've I'm so surprised that it's just making runs now when we sit <laughs> when we are in the subcommittee because Personally, I've been part of a subcommittee before. Yeah, okay. Um, because I'm still youth. Yeah. Okay. Na kile um, a subcommittee niya fundraising. Kore kya I was sitting under subcommittee. Okay. Na kwa thing I know. I think. Do you know Slamba Mukosi from Alapolo? Slamba Mukosi. I'm not yes, sure. Yes. Yeah. So Don't he was. Slamba, I know. Eh, it's Slamba still. <laughs> yes. The, um. Yeah. So, um, I served under that committee, and I was just saying, I'm surprised because people are saying. No, no, because we've always been, especially okay. me and OD, um, we've always been, you know, can't carry members of the BDP. Um, uh, maybe the difference is now, now there's social media, hey. so they see the impact, they see the influence, because, you know, now it's it's visible out there, or, 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 you know, and, uh, yeah. you know, and now that we are sitting in committees that directly, you know, directly uh, reports to the central committee, mm. You know, maybe people see it the other way. Or no, now we're how feeling. You know, you know, let the president yeah. and you know some way. But I must just say, you know, this doesn't just come on a gold platter. Yeah. We worked within the BDP. Yeah. We were part of the BDP. Yeah. OD has always, Kess has always been in politics yeah. on a down low. Yeah, I know that a, much. Yeah. Has always he advocated. actually has a, a degree yeah. in PAPS, in I guess. Yes, he actually Public administration and political yeah. science. Yeah. Man to seven, no. He like Melody Top. Hey, no. People don't know. That you know. little bonus so, story. Did I know? Hey, what's up with Sox Molantoy? Ben Wat. Ben Wat. People should do their homework. So yeah. I feel like because now, like I said, the social media and um, they're privy to information, which is good. Hey. Then they just, you know, now start concluding that no, Madam Kraka, Bariki, Barakabato, Bari, no. Some of us, we've been in the BDP, yeah. we've kept it on a down low, or maybe now that, I guess it's almost not a promotion. Hey. Now that now we're promoted and you know, we, we we are sitting where we are rightfully supposed to be, mm. which is a subcommittee for sports and it's for sports and creative arts. I get we are the same La, people. We are the same people that have always advocated and made noise to hey. say, "H e And then when His Excellency does that, we are the same people who want to blame him now. <laughs> no, why? no, we're not blaming. Yeah. We just want to know what's going on. Hey. And you so, know, I, yeah, this yeah. is why you find people such as Zenzele and yeah. Ovi in BDP. Awesome stuff. Because there are men and women who tirelessly has said "Romomusinga industriaro." Yeah. And he said, "Okay, better people." Definitely. It's you. That uh, is why we have a chairperson who's got a whole background of sport. Yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. 
I'm 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 absolutely loving Kono to see um this trajectory Yaga was in. I mean mm. even in like when you go backwards, the is to lift up um others even higher yeah. than you know where 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 we where we are currently and I'm really really appreciative of that. I'm gonna have to wrap it up oh, yeah. and uh, thank you so so much for hanging with us. I don't know what are the future plans. Are we seeing any events that you're a part of or are we completely trying to embrace this new um, space that you are in, from the politics to to the mental, you know, mm-hmm. what what are we trying to do um, in the near future? Who is in promotions is now, you know, uh, we're taking a new twist. I think yeah. you've seen the event that I brought, Doctor Kumado, sixteen yeah. V. You know, Ooh, I'm I, now, I yeah, know we're now diverting into sports management events. Um, we're also having a rapper marathon coming down on the 25th of November. Yeah. You know, Kobo Teddy. There's also a big one, but I can't just say. Okay. Big, no, no, no. Big we're, one where all roads, yeah. where Botswana is going to be a preferred destination because of this project that is coming. But it's also sports. And okay. I'll invite you to the press conference. No, we're coming. So you get, to, you get to do. So that's the direction that I'm taking. And then mm. obviously, politics, I'm there to serve. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there to serve. And I, you know, Either time comes, I have grown politically, and I feel mm. I, I I I have all that it takes yeah. to represent, you know, my constituency or to sit. Whether I cancer and I parliament, I will always serve yeah. because I have also served in an industry that I've known. Yeah. It's just at this time I'm just wearing a political hat. Awesome. There's nothing different. Mm. I am still passionate. Mm. I am still advocating for. BW creative talent yeah. to make it and for this sector to be considered. Yeah. I still say that the creative arts must be given a chance to blossom and be of its great potential. And awesome. there's nobody who could do it than yeah. the creatives yeah. themselves, awesome. provided their expertise of that industry, provided they're learned, yeah. they have the experience. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, ZNP. Thank yeah. you so, so much, my Mr. Thank you, Levadi. What a great conversation. Hey, no, Ooh. I had a, a lot of fun.